Yo, what's up guys? I'm Yannick from the Produce School and in this video, I'm going to create a full Deep House track in one hour. I will be making a track in the selected Deep House style and I will show you all the different aspects of creating a track like sound selection, arrangement, mixing and more. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and with that being said, Let's create a Deep House track. In this video, I will be making use of our brand new deep and melodic house producer pack called Illusion, which has all the essentials in there like serum presets, project files, samples, vocals, basically everything that you'll need to create a track with. Um, if you want to support the pack and our channel, then click the link over here or use the link in the description. I'm going to build the track around one of the vocals that's in the pack. I will be using the hook called Overtaking, um, which has the dry and wet stems included as well. But I'm just going to use the full wet vocal right here, um, so I have an idea what the track will sound like when it's finished. Um, let's set the tempo of the song to the tempo of the vocal which is 123, like this. So this is a little preview of the vocal. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes. Energy from what giving me. Oh, I can It's a really cool vocal and the hook is really catchy over here. Cause my heart is overtaken. Feelings at the wheel and never breaking. We don't even know the destination. So I want to build a drop at this part, so basically the chorus um, and then the breakdown will be here. I think I want to start with finding some chords and sounds and then I might start creating the drop or the breakdown, uh, kind of depends on what I come up with. Um, let's go into Serum and select a really nice preset from the pack, it's called, yeah it's Visionary is this really warm, um, deep sound. Kind of analog feel to it. Um, the vocal is in C minor, so let's find some chords for that. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes. Energy from us always on the line. Taking us away to a paradise. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes Energy from us always on the line Taking us away to a paradise This could work. Oh. You really get that selected um, vibe. Let's put these notes in a piano roll. Um, let's just quickly record it. Maybe that's easier. Create a new pattern. It's really simple. So basically these are chords consisting out of two notes. There is a proper naming for that, um, but I don't really remember it. Let's just fix this, put it on the grid, then move this here. Maybe a top melody. Let's put 
it with the vocals first because I definitely have to leave some space for the vocals. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes. Energy from my soul. It sounds great. Put it right here. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes. Energy from my soul is on the line. Taking us away to a paradise. Mm, a paradise. And this one should be earlier. Sounds great. Giving me all these signs disappear. So this part will be the verse. Um, let's add a marker so it's a little bit easier to see. Then the pre-chorus will start here, or the build-up. So let's add um, pre-chorus. And then the drop, or chorus, will start here. Just to be a little bit more clear. Heart is overtaken Feelings at the wheel are never breaking Even though I can't stop Cause my oh, 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 I, oh, I, oh all right, um, then there should be an intro as well, so that will be here. Um, let's start working on the breakdown first. I think we can create some nice atmosphere sounds, stuff like that to fill up some space. Let's turn off the vocal. Let's add some atmospheric sounds. This tonal ambience will definitely work. It's already in the right key, so I don't have to pitch it up or down. Let's actually pitch it up. We have some other ambient sounds like vinyl noises. They work really well in these kind of tracks. Let's add another atmospheric sound. Maybe this one, but we have to pitch it to the right key. One is cool. Let's remove some of that high end of this ambient sound. Put a reverb on it maybe. Make it more in the background of the track. And then remove some high end. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes. Energy from us always on the line. Taking us away to a The vocal is already Filling up a lot of space, so I need to leave space for the vocal. And then I want here to be like a pause. And then here the drop should start. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes Energy from us always on the line Taking us away to a paradise mm -hmm. 
than me. Let's look for a lead or ambient sounding lead to add on top of it. Um, just to fill up some space between the parts of the vocal. Um, let's go for a lead. Melody could work. We don't need a talk cause it's in our eyes. Energy from us. Actually, let's use this one. So this. Taking us away to a paradise. Giving me us. remove that for a second me. let's add a fill create kind of a build-up effect really simple like this I'm just sketching the ID roughly and then I will make changes of course but this is just to get the ID going use this one or this one let's get to work on the drop that's the most important part of the track I'm going to use this really deep and punchy kick Let's copy it a few times. And let's try and come up with a melody or chord melody based on these chords. So. These kind of melodies, you can hear them in a lot of newer uh, selected tracks. trying to come up with a melody and I think that what I just played actually works pretty well so let's look for a plug that fits it a little bit better this one is really cool because the velocity is linked to the cutoff so when you press a note harder the cutoff will open up um let's let's create a melody in pattern two so let's go here and use this Copy this just a few times, like so. I'm 
just following the bass notes of the chords we already had. That doesn't sound right, so the E should be E sharp. And then we have this one again. That sounds great. I definitely need a bass here and some variations to this lead with automations, but I think the melody is pretty cool. You really get that selected vibe. Maybe we can also put it in the pre-chorus or build up. Alright, um, let's keep on working. We have this lead. Um, let's lay down a bass line. Um, let's look for a nice. This one is pretty cool. Let's put it in there and let's follow the same rhythm as the melody. So here and then just like so. Put this in a new pattern. be the main bass but I'm going to add another bass layer on top of it which will be more like a plucky top bass which is more white in the mix this one says that it's a white top bass so let's use that one really snappy Let's start mixing the leads and the bass line because right now the mix really sucks. Um, let's put the kick in the mixer channel as well, making sure it's around minus 6 dB. Good starting point. And let's start working on this lead. I'm going to remove the reverb on this one. The delay can stay on there. Let's remove some low frequencies. And let's add a little radiator, which is a really cool plugin by Sound Toys. It's actually free right now. If you're watching this video before January 2nd, then you still have a chance to get this one for free. Normally it's around $80. Make it sound more warm. Let's add some reverb with Fruity Reverb 2.
en een kickstart voor sidechaining. Let's lower down the cutoff. Alright, uh, let's also work on this bass. Let's add an EQ. And remove some high frequencies of this one, the main bass. Let's make it mono. More mono, actually. And then the top bass. I'm gonna put an EQ on it to remove the low frequencies. Because this one will really be the top bass. Slow down the volume. Let's add a camel crusher on that first um, bass as well. A little bit of compression and distortion. Like this. And let's put both of them into a bus and cut bass. And put the sidechain kickstart on it. Something like this. Put the vocal in a mixer channel as well. Uh, Low down the volume. I feel that the bass is missing something. And I think I'm going to add a more like longer stabby bass, um, kind of Medusa bass with this preset. It's a really warm sound um, and I'm just going to use sustained notes in there. Kiss my heart is overtaken. Two bass lines that I already made will work to give the track a little bit more drive. And then this bass line will help to give it a little bit more impact on the drop. Um, I'm going to remove quite some low frequencies because they are already there. Something like this. And let's also add some reverb. Make it a little bit bigger. And this way it will be working more like a um, stab sound. Heart is overtaken. Heart is overtaken. Feelings at the wheel and never break in. We don't even know the destination. Heart is, heart is overtaken. Heart is overtaken. I have the feeling that the lead melody is a little bit too random. It doesn't really fit with the vocal. So I'm going to change some things up. Um, let's see. Maybe. Maybe 
maybe that works better. The bass line needs to be different, but let's change up the bass line right now. So it fits the rhythm of the melody. Let's actually see how it would be. Something like this. And let's extend these notes. It works. Um, let's put it right here. And then we have to change this as well. Something like this. I still feel like the bass line would be different. Um, just do it like this. Just following the exact same um, rhythm as the melody. It's taking quite some time, but I want to make sure this is right. Um, and then we can move on. Alright, um, let's keep on working. Um, let's see, um, I want to work on the lead sound to make it more interesting. I'm going to tweak some parameters like the cutoff and automate it. Go like this and then open it up a few times. Maybe over here as well. Let's 
let's copy this over here. Something like this. Maybe we can automate a crystallizer. This is a really cool plugin. That's pretty cool. Let's automate the mix of it. Um, let's see. Creating kind of a reversed sweep sound. Something like this will work. Alright, um, let's copy these ambience elements. And this one as well. And then I want to introduce some more drums. So let's go for a nice clap. Also add some drum loops. This one maybe. Maybe introduce a hi-hat here. I'm not sure if that works. Or just remove it. I think that's better. Let's put this into a new track. Okay. 
The cutoff of the lead should be opened a little bit more here uh, to add some variation. So let's put it. Actually, let's now do that and introduce something else, which will be um, the ambient sounds. A bit all over the place, but I'm just having to work really fast right now. Let's make a unique copy of this one and put it into a mixer channel. And add sidechain on it. definitely needs to be an impact sound or downlifter this one maybe because now the drop doesn't hit that well it into a mixer channel, add sidechain as always, and lower down the mix. Something like that. And this step sound is actually not being routed to the bass mixer bus, so there's no sidechain on it. What I was already thinking. That's better. Let's actually redo that and um, just put the sidechain on here with a little lower mix. Mm -hmm. 
Let's fill up some space in the drop with percussion sounds with a lot of reverb on it. That tends to work well. Or a snare. Just an offbeat snare. Let's add a lot of reverb on it and filter it. Maybe that sounds cool. Timing needs to be different. Another percussion sound, maybe. This one maybe. We don't even know. We don't even know. We don't. We don't even know that. We don't even know the destination. Copy this here. And here again. And I want to add some short sweeps we have in the pack to create some nice transitions. Something like this and then copy it here as well. Let's add this transition over here. Okay, I want to add one more thing to the drop, and it is an ambient lead sound on top of the second part of the drop. Um, I'm gonna have to look for a preset for it. Mm. 
maybe this one if we with a lot of reverb it could maybe work um right here That sounds cool. Um, let's put in a pattern. Kickstart on it, and maybe a panomatic to pan it to left and right. I think we need more reverb. Now let's go back to the breakdown and finish that because it needs a little bit more work. Let's add this transition. This downlifter maybe. We don't need to talk cause it's in our eyes. We don't need to talk cause it's in our eyes. Energy from us always underlined. Taking us And this one put into a mixer channel as well um there we go put reverb on it
Okay, um, let's add some impacts to the breakdown. This one. We don't need a tour cause We don't need a tour cause it's in our eyes Energy from us always on the line Taking us away to a paradise Add some drums to it because it feels pretty empty here. Uplifter. I want to introduce the melody of the drop here. Let's turn off the kickstart here because there's no kick playing. Let's automate the low cut. Like this. Just moving pretty quickly. Let's automate the filter cutoff even more for the build up. Um, delete all these points. Add one of these sweeps, so the drop fades in. Something like this. Delay on this lead because better. Mm. Giving me all these 
One final thing that I'm going to do is to automate a reverb on the lead, which will work in the build-up. I'm going to put the dry level at zero and the wet level at 100% and automate this wet level over here. And in that way, we can make it like fade out during the build-up. Something like that. Let's increase the decay time. And that's everything that I could do in one hour. Um, I would have done way more if I had more time, but since this video will be an hour, um, I'm gonna quit here. If you want me to show you how to make vocals like these, we can do a tutorial on that because we have all the original stems of the vocal and I can show you exactly how to mix um, vocals like these. This is what I've made during the hour and let me know what you guys think of it. It's in our eyes Energy from us always underlined Taking us away to a paradise mm. Giving me All these signs Disappear Cause my I hope you learned something new watching this one hour video. It was really fun to do and we'll definitely do more of these in the future. If you have any questions about this track, like arrangement wise, mixing wise, or basically anything about this track, then feel free to drop a comment and I will try to get back to you on there. For now, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. You love, it's no hard to choose.